Cyclone 4 has revolutionized 3D filmmaking by making concepts like high dynamic range imaging and image based lighting so simple to use. At first, these concepts may be a little daunting, but we will go through each part so you can familiarize yourself with these incredible tools and start enhancing your videos. Let's start with image based lighting, or IBL for short. Image based lighting is basically taking one image and then bending that image into a shape of a sphere that wraps around your scene. It then generates light just like the image and directs that light inward towards the center of that sphere. And at the center of that sphere is the scene we have created in Icon 4. Notice here, you see the bright spots on my horse. That reflective quality of light is generated from those lights just opposite of the horse. That way, IBL effectively generates proper environmental light. I will show you how to get this end result of this horse floating in the middle of the cathedral. Along the way, you will learn the basics of IBL. Then you can apply these same concepts to your own productions. Okay, so we have a scene with my horse inside, and there's a shadow generated by the directional light. By the default, there's always one directional light and ambient light in every iClone project. But when using IBL, we won't need ambient light. In fact, ambient light might take away the effect we are trying to create. So let's go to our light settings and turn ambient light down to black. Then for the directional light 01, let's turn the color darker. Not black, but maybe just around dark gray color will do. That way we still have some shadow contrast, but since later we will have our horse to float in a scene, I'm going to turn off cast shadow. Since we adjusted the ambient light and directional light, let's do the same for our prop. By default, most props have the diffuse and ambient set to white, but since this horse doesn't, we have to adjust the ambient and diffuse to white. Specular channel in this case doesn't matter, so you can leave it to whatever original specular color was. Next we should load in our sky map. First we can load in any sky map, then go to the image channels for the sky map and change to another image. You can use any panorama for this. But let me first show you a trick. Here we have a tool called HDR Shop, which has a free non-commercial version license available online. Notice when I load in an image, you can tell this image was taken by a camera because the light scale is off, but inside of this tool we can do a gamma correction. Gamma correction means to make darker areas brighter and bright areas darker. The human eye can naturally do gamma correction. That is why sometimes your eyes see a great place for a nighttime picture, but when you actually take the photo, it's too dark in the photo. This tool can quickly do gamma correction, and I'm going to set the gamma correction to 2.2. And notice, it's more like what the human eye is accustomed to. Then we can export this image as a JPEG, so we can use it as our sky. Now that we have added this image as our sky, I want to now add in IBL to match the same sky that I have created. But I don't want to use an extremely large image for this. Too large of an image will slow down your productions without any greater enhancement to your video. So for the IBL image channel, make sure you use a smaller image. Using a small image will create the same light effect and not subject your real-time productions to massive light generating calculations. So to do this, simply open up the image in any of your image viewers and change the image size. For my purpose, I'm going to create an IBL map of 512 by 512. It's perhaps ideal for what I'm trying to do. Anything larger or smaller will affect the quality of performance. Now we have a smaller image of our sky. So let's open up our stage and then go to Atmosphere. Now on the Modify panel, scroll down to IBL Settings. Let's first turn on IBL. Then let's load in our smaller image by double clicking on the image, then navigate to where our smaller image is saved on our hard drive. Then we can adjust the softness and strength. Since IBL and HDR is reflective in nature, so by adjusting the softness, you will actually adjust the blur. Strength is like power, so by adjusting the softness and strength, you can create a more reflective lighting or a more dispersed lighting across the prop. Again, it's up to you and the prop you are creating. Most props will need a dispersed light, but objects and props like cars will need more reflective. Also, here's a tip. If you wish to make a prop even more reflective or realistic, Add in the small image we use for our IBL channel into the prop's reflective channel to get a really cool effect. 